Chapter 13, How to Help New Agers Sadly, the vast majority of New Agers are involved quite innocently. Their motives are often altruistic. They wish to help, not harm, their fellow human beings. Most of them lack knowledge of the ultimate goals of the, new, of the movement. Even among those possessing this knowledge, many fail to see the dire consequences. Rapidly increasing numbers are being manipulated by extremely sophisticated forms of mind control. This no doubt is due in part to the preparatory conditioning of meditation and other psycho-spiritual techniques. My study of hypnosis has left me unconvinced of its claimed scientific basis. I feel it constitutes pure and simple, albeit temporary, demonic control. I have personally witnessed many New Age spiritual sessions where those present seem to be taken into progressively deeper levels of hypnosis. While under such influence, they were told that, one, a world teacher or Christ is coming, two, they themselves possess divinity or the Christ consciousness, and three, the Christ is not any single man and no preacher can save them. They must save themselves. Four, a cleansing action will have to occur before the new age can begin. Even more importantly than what they were told while under hypnosis is the fact that they are never brought out from under the hypnotic influence. When Benjamin Krem spoke in Detroit, he seemed to control the audience. During the evening, many participants appeared red-eyed with fixed stares. The ease with which some seemed to go under suggested that they had been subject to prayer conditioning. It was chilling to watch. Hundreds of intelligent adults give a standing ovation to the prospects of false teachers about the Christ, i.e. fundamentalist Christians, disappearing. Likewise, it makes an Orthodox Christian or Jew no happier to read the source books for the movement. The Alice Bailey, David Spangler, Agni Yoga, Theosophical, Rosicrucian, H.G. Wells writings and see cold plans for a near future cleansing action, especially when the reader realizes he is among those to be cleansed. Reading that all who express recalcitrance towards the New Age Christ will be released from physical embodiment and sent to another dimension other than physical incarnation certainly does nothing towards giving the reader warm feelings about the writers and their followers, the New Agers. Nevertheless, a commitment to speak the truth in love must be made and maintained if we are able to first, I'm sorry, if we are to help the first victims of the Aquarian conspiracy, the New Agers themselves. They may be victims because they are under sophisticated forms of deception, they may be victims because they do not have full facts and are told only what their leaders want them to know in guided study programs rather than by dispassionate survey of all available information, including Orthodox Judeo-Christian teachings. For example, it is not uncommon for youngsters involved in the New Age movement to receive warnings against reading the entire Bible, such as those contained in the next Whole Earth Catalog, a popular New Age publication by, by points with Random House Distribution. Quote, If you've ever tried to read the Bible cover to cover, be advised it's a bad idea. The Bible was written by a lot of different people at a lot of different times, so it shouldn't be, it should be read more like a magazine than a book. Flip around, see what looks interesting, skip the boring parts. Unquote, from page 591, second edition. Apart from the New Age oriented theologians who have deliberately infused our churches and seminaries with New Age concepts, the vast majority of those in the New Age movement are there innocently. The lonely, the confused, and bewildered, the young and naive, these are prime targets for New Age organizers. Likewise, they should be prime targets for Christians and great sensitivity should be used in approaching them to win them back to where they really belong, to Jesus Christ who sacrificed his life for them and still cares for them. Often people are won to the movement and or its various programs by reacting to various distortions of Christianity and its source book, the Bible. All too often Christians play into the hands of New Age rec recruiters. 
For example, New Agers are told that Christianity is a repressive religion and that its Bible teaches that all who have never heard of God and Jesus Christ are automatically condemned. While this representation is both inaccurate and unfair, Christian ministers have often played into the New Agers' hands by preaching this very doctrine from, from the pulpit and inserting same into Christian comic books. My son was even taught this same doctrine in a Lutheran school. The correct scriptural reference for this question is found in Romans 2, 1 through 16. Therefore you are without excuse, every man of you who passes judgment, for in that you judge another, you condemn yourselves, for you who judge practice the same things. And we know the judgment of God rightly falls upon those who practice such things. And do you suppose this, O man, when you pass judgment upon those who practice such things, and do the same yourself, that you will escape the judgment of God? Or do you think lightly of the riches of his kindness and forbearance and patience, not knowing that the kindness of God leads you to repentance? But because of your stubbornness and unrepentant heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will render to every man according to his deeds. To those who by perseverance in doing good seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life, but to those who are selfishly ambitious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, wrath, and indignation. There will be tribulation and distress for every soul of man who does evil, of the Jew first and also of the Greek. But glory and honor and peace to every man who who does good, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For there is no partiality with God. For all who have sinned without the law will also perish without the law, and all who have sinned under the law will be judged by the law. For not the hearers of the law are justified before God, but the doers of the law will be justified. For when Gentiles who do not have the law do instinctively the things of the law, these, not not having the law, are a law unto themselves. And that way they show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience bearing witness, and their thoughts alternately accusing or else defending them. On the day when, according to my gospel, God will judge the secrets of men through Jesus Christ. On Judgment Day, there may be many surprises for those Christians who have deliberately apostatized or misled the body of Christ. They may see some poor pagan who did the best he could with the little knowledge he did possess, standing redeemed and joyous before the throne, while the apostates and hypocrites watch with gnashing teeth, gnashing of teeth from outside. Jesus was plain on this point. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Matthew 7, 21 through 23. The next point of Christianity that concerns sensitive New Agers and their prospective recruits is the fate of the Jews. While the New Age movement is, at its esoteric core, deeply anti-Semitic, many of its number are unaware of this. This fact is reserved for either voracious readers of New Age dogma or upper-level initiates of occultum. Many New Agers, particularly would-be Jewish New Agers, are told that Christianity is anti-Semitic and it represents the Jews as being blankety, bl- I'm sorry, blanketly condemned unless they have converted to Christianity. Again, this is a misinter- misrepresentation of plain scriptural language. For I do not want you, brethren, to be uninformed of this mystery, lest you be wise in your own estimation, that a partial hardening has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in. And thus all Israel will be saved, just as it is written. The Deliverer will come from Zion. He will remove ungodliness from Jacob. And this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. From the standpoint of the gospel, they are enemies for your sake. But from the standpoint of God's choice, they are beloved for the sake of the fathers. For the gifts and calling of God are irrevocable. For just as you once were disobedient to God, but now have been shown mercy because of their disobedience. 
So these also now have been disobedient, in order that because of the mercy shown to you, they also may now be shown mercy. For God has shut up all in disobedience, that he might show mercy to all. O oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable are his judgments, and unfathomable his ways. Romans 11, 25-33 it is therefore clear that anti-Semitism is condemned in the plainest possible scriptural terms without exception. New Age theology distorts the teachings of Christianity in other important ways as well. They tell their prospective disciples that all world religions have the same truths at their core. While there are certain superficial similarities amongst among most religions, Orthodox Judaism and Christianity stand in direct opposition to every other belief system. It is safe to say, however, that nearly all non-Judeo-Christian religions are extremely similar because, as the Bible indicates, they come from one source, the God of this world, Satan himself. Doctrines of reincarnation and self-realization, Godhood for man, lie at the heart of New Age teachings. It can hardly be coincidence that many f forms of these teachings still come packaged as a snake. Many New Agers fervently believe they are working to raise the fires of Kundalini, a goddess in the form of a snake coiled at the base of the spine. Many have been recruited into the movement through their desire to help solve the world's problems and particularly the hunger problem. They do not know that central to the teaching of the movement is the replacement of the present races, the very people they say they are helping with a new root race. Many are unaware of the political aims of the movement to eliminate several billions from the Earth's population and millions from that of the USA prior to the year 2000, a goal only accomplishable by mass genocide. Even ostensibly, Christian anti-hunger organizations have not escaped the influence of New Age teachings. Abortion, artificial insemination, genetic control, and death control are frightening and all dear to the heart of Friends of the Earth. A prominent New Age organization. One wonders how many members or supporters of that group are aware that those exact programs were central to Hitler Hayes Nazism. Pamphlets available to, in metaphysical bookstores sometimes give more honest statement of the New Ager's intentions. In 1982, Cosmic Countdown, published by Guardian Action Publications of New Mexico, is an alleged transmissions from higher intelligence it was said of the hunger disease problem in the third world quote the world should be forewarned to be on the lookout for diseases which have been suppressed for years suddenly rearing their ugly heads and decimating populations already on the verge of starvation in the third world nations although these peoples will eventually be replaced by the new root race about to make its appearance in a newly cleansed world. Nevertheless, for the moment, this is a tragedy, unquote. Wow. Perhaps the best way to help the sensitive new ager who is worried about problems of world hunger, a legitimate worry is to show him the lack of real spending for food by new age organizations fighting hunger. Many with enormously large bud budgets spend little on actual bread for the starving. The Hunger Project and Bread for the World spend their time and resources either lobbying for structural change, such as a, a World Food Authority to replace present food distribution systems, or seeking to gain additional adherence to this point of view. Many sincere New Agers are interested in the disarmament issue. The New Age movement has outwardly billed itself as being opposed to nuclear weapons. The Alice Bailey writings, however, plainly state on page 548 of the externalization of the hierarchy that they should feel free to use these weapons on religious groups who inter interfere in the political process, or at the very least feel free to threaten their use. This inconsistency in the New Age position could be profitably could be used profitably to enlighten sincere New Agers as to the real nature of the movement. Many, if not most, New Agers would be truly startled to see the close resemblance of the move movement to oh, Nazism. This must be handled in a most tactful manner. If the New Ager is to hear the conversation out, 
A tabulation is presented in another portion of this book, demonstrating these points in reference. New Agers, fascinated by mysticism and psychic seers such as Nostradamus or Robin Bullock, I'm sorry, (laughs) just kidding, um, will be interested in the correlation of the movement to Bible prophecy. Again, a tabulation is provided herein to assist you with this technique for researching New Agers of your, for reaching New Agers of your acquaintance. Finally, one must not underestimate the power of prayer. While you are talking with with the New Ager, do so forthrightly and courageously, remembering that we are given the authority in the name of Jesus to deliver them from demonic deception and power if they are willing to be delivered. The battle is a spiritual one. Therefore, even while witnessing, pray without ceasing for wisdom and guidance, and that the eyes of the New Ager might be opened. Always speak the truth in love. Remember, Jesus Christ loves and died for New Agers. Until proven otherwise, we should consider each of them to be a victim rather than a villain. And that's the end of chapter 13. Run. One name that can keep you out of hell, and it's the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus.